So how to install Rates PowerShell on Windows 10 or Windows 11? So you simply go and open your PowerShell either by searching it on your taskbar or by searching on your settings. And you are going to learn it as an administrator. So after opening the PowerShell, you can see the message that you need to update the latest version of PowerShell. So right now I'm going to copy the link and I'm going to paste it on the web browser lady for installing the PowerShell. So you can see I'm pasting the link now and I'm going now trying to log into the official website of Microsoft and download the latest PowerShell software which is 64-bit. Um, for Windows 11 or Windows 10, you can just go and choose according to your operating system which is available on your machine. So right now I'm going to download, um, I'm going to install the PowerShell. You can see the PowerShell is on the official website of Microsoft. You can just go and check on the link on the description where I will leave a link for installing the PowerShell. So right now I'm going to click the link and you can see that the file is going to start downloading. So it takes a time according to your internet connection and speed. So now you can see the file is completed to download. So right now I'm going to launch or to open the file. And after launching, you can see that the software is now ready to install. So I'm going to check all the requirements of the so setup. And right now you can see I'm going to enable the, that tag over there. I'm going to give it a, a mark, a pass, and I'm going to click next. So also right now on, I'm going to click next, then install. And you can see the PowerShell is now installing on my computer. So it takes like a three second and or more according to the installation process. So you can just go and wait for a while. And you can see that finish. You can choose to launch the partial after the installation if you need to a quiz. So right now I'm going to launch the partial and click finish. And you can see now we have the latest partial on Windows 11.